Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, January 24th. It's the third week after the Epiphany and week three in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 48, and Mark chapter 6, verse 1 through 13. And now please join me in singing verse 5 of Psalm 100, part 2, by Isaac Watts, to the tune of Old 100. We'll crowd your gates with thankful songs, high as the heavens our voices raise, and earth with her ten thousand tongues shall fill your courts with sounding praise. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help thee. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, Psalm 48, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised in the city of your holy mountain. Mount Zion is beautiful and the joy of the whole earth, for there is the city of the great king. You are known as a refuge in her palaces, for the kings were assembled, they passed by together. They saw it and were amazed, they were troubled and hurried away. And fear took hold of them there, and pain, like that of a woman in labor, like the ships of Tarshish shattered by an east wind. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of God most high of hosts, in the city of our God, and God will establish her forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. Your praise, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice, and let the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion and go all around her, and count her towers. Mark her bulwarks and consider her palaces, that you may tell the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever, and will be our guide until death. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. <clears throat> he left that place and came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. And on the Sabbath he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astounded. They said, Where did this man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been given him? What deeds of power are being done by his hands? Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James, and Joseph, and Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Then Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honor, except in their hometown, and among their own kin, and in their own house. And he could do no deed of power there, except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and cured them, and he was amazed at their unbelief. Then he went about among the villages teaching. He called the twelve and began to send them out two by two, and gave them authority over the unclean spirits. He ordered them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not to put on two tunics. 
And he said to them, Whenever you enter into a house, stay there until you leave the place. And if any place will not welcome you, and they refuse to hear you, as you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. So they went out and proclaimed that all should repent. And they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. Here ends the lesson. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, accept our praises, for we have seen your justice and are glad in you. And be our guide from this day to the next, now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.